So Rio, look at the crowd here in the grandstands you were talking about just moments ago. And you're absolutely right. You know, it, as an archer, when you come up to the field of play, it's not where we had our qualification rounds. It's not where we had our elimination rounds today. When you are walking up to the field of play, what are the things you are looking for when you're looking downrange? Well, one of the things I try and do, and usually when I get out on these fields is, I try to look and see where other people have shot their first few arrows, what's going on, uh, the wind and where it could come from, the avenues that could tunnel it, could cause it to be a little stronger in certain areas. Uh, one that really brings to mind a lot is uh, Antalya, Turkey. We shoot there for a World Cup, and the stands are on both sides, and they went behind you, and it tunnels right through this little gap <laughs> that they bring in, and, and you just, I've learned over the years that you gotta watch this through there, because it'll get you. Well, the wind's still howling, but now it's time to get our second match underway. It's time to introduce the archers to the field of play. Well, here they come onto the field of play, and we have 21-year-old Jack Williams going against 35-year-old Jacob Wookie from Fremont, Ohio. So Irvine, California going after Fremont, Ohio. And, uh, you know, for those new to archery, Rio Wild, Jacob Wookie might not be a household name right now. No, but he's been around a while. I mean, he was part of our silver medal team in London, and he has achieved a lot in fact we had to talk about that like the time that he took off and how much it takes to get back to where he is and stuff and it's really impressive and jacob's really fun guy because he just he just shoots i mean uh they built his arrows the night he got here six different guys put it veins on him no lines no nothing they just put them together and he come out and shot really good this week and so i mean we can see he's here yeah so wookie Actually, both of these athletes represented the United States yes. at the Olympics, along with Brady Ellison. And here they are shooting it off. Brady Ellison won our bronze medal a little yeah. earlier today. If you're wondering about the recurve senior women bronze medal, went to Casey Coffin, who was one of our athletes that represented the U.S. as well in the Olympics. So now this is we for the gold medal match. We have a little delay. We have a, someone adventuring their dog behind the target bells. Oh, yes. You can see to the left there, there is a uh, pedestrian, if you like, that decided that it's time to walk their dog behind a... Archery event. Huge archery event. Not the first time. No, no, no. Do you remember back in 2015 when we were at the Texas shootout? Yes. There was an entire, the, the women's running team yes. ran right behind the bales, and yeah. we were all at full draw and had to stop real quick and get that moving. Yeah, it always makes for an adventure. We had one at the World Championships in New York in uh, Central Park. A no, bunch of kids walk by. So maybe they're just getting in arrested. Jack Williams to lead us off for the gold medal match. Oh, and a good start. Strong 10 for him, max yeah. scoring points. And Rio, for those just tuning in, tell us about how we're going to score this match. Uh, this will be the set system. Uh, similar to tennis, it'll be depending on your score for the end. And they will give you two set points for every one you win. If you tie, you split them. And it's the first person to reach six points will be your winner. So it kind of is a combination of how you score every end. And so it's it's a little different, but it's it makes for some nice close matches. Jack Williams coming out on fire. Yeah. In this win, that's impressive. I don't care who you are. Silver medalist, 2012. And again, just like we talked about the venue, Jacob's got two arrows on that right side, which could be that he's made two really good shots, and that's just where it's hitting from the practice range to here because it's so different. Whoa. <sighs> Cannot and tell you how difficult it is to start off with a 30, not only the fact that it's Olympic recurve style, 70 meters downrange, about 77 yards, but look at the flags of flying. Yeah. What yeah. a start from Jack Williams. Yeah, and it's good. that's a good... I mean, the nice part about the set system is Jacob don't have to worry about the four points there because now mm -hmm. it's just the two po two set points and that other points are forgotten. But, I mean, to come out and shoot a 30 right out of the gate, you, you've, 
Yeah, yeah you're putting a stamp on it yeah, right now. You're like, hello, I'm here. Yeah, you're making a statement, no doubt about it. All right, so this is what happens. Each archer has a, a, a friend or another athlete that's going to go down and make sure that they have calls. They're also going to retrieve errors from them, and then we yeah. have the USA Archery judges there to ratify the scores, confirm the scores. Yeah. No question about that one. Those were three inside out yeah. tens, even with an X. So you see the little ring that was in there inside the 10 ring. So the 10 ring is that darker one, but you see the yeah. spider little ring. But they don't count at X's in recurve archery like uh, they do in compound? Uh, not during the eliminations, because okay. they are, during the eliminations, they they're, it's a set system, so there's no real world records or anything in that manner. It's just straight up, like you get your score, then you get your sets. Mm -hmm. So there's no, I mean, they, they probably have had uh, several people shoot a 30 with three X's, so I don't know that you'd have a world record, but with this, there isn't one because of the set system. So the X doesn't really matter. Gotcha. All right, well, so now what other happens, than, yeah. Other than confidence. Other than confidence, <laughs> yeah, 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 100%, <laughs> which is such a tremendous part of this game. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of sports psychologists out there who would love to get their hands on some archers to figure out what makes them tick. This or is very much, very much a mental Or the game. archers to drive them crazy because they're like, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> so you see upper left part of your screen, our scores. Just for reference, it was 30 to 26, but it's really that 2 to 0 that makes the difference. As Wookie trying to stop the bleeding after Williams threw off a 30, got those two set points as we're marching towards this gold medal. And Wookie starts off with that, at least better positioning yeah, on the target. But still a little high. I mean, he's got his reference right to left a little better, and that can be the win, but he's still a little high. 20 seconds. Jack lets it go with five. Another 10. Another 10. Oh, four 10s in a row right out of the oh gate coming out from. goodness. He's come out to play serious. Oh, and they're marking it a nine. But from our look, it looked like a yeah, 10. Yeah, it definitely looked like. Okay, so another good example. There's an 8-9 liner. How do we determine what the value is, Rio? Anytime the arrow touches the line, you receive the higher value. It's it's just how they've always scored it. Oh, I think that, that one's just off. Looks to be a 9, but so close to being 5 in a row. And Jacob needs a 10 here. He really does. Oh, just just off. below. But I think he has three nines. I mean, if Jack shoots in, well, I think he needs an eight here to tie it up. But they think that other one's a nine, so we'll have to see when the scoring gets down there. Good launch. And but release. another yep. just off the ten, so he'll get that set points, so, and it will be pretty much irrelevant what they call that first arrow because it would be a twenty-seven to. Even if it was yeah. three nines, right, with the set scoring yep. system. So you know, our prediction is even with how the judges are going to score, it looks like Jack Williams is going to. Go up four nothing. Four sets to nothing. But again, the nice part is in the set system is all those nines, tens, everything is wiped away, and we are at four zero. And if Jacob comes out and shoots a thirty and takes it, it goes to four two. So it keeps the matches really close and really intriguing. Versus, I mean, we could have a ten point spread and it really wouldn't matter. A good look at Jacob Wookie who. Took so many years off from archery, started a family, has children, yep. works at a water treatment plant, and was just kind of doing the life thing yep. after the Olympics. Silver mm -hmm. medalist, and then all of a sudden, here he comes storming back onto the field yep. in Olympic trials. Yeah, and, and when he walked into Olympic trials in Salt Lake City, he told them he was going to make the team. <laughs> it was a boss move to walk in, and he's like, I'm going to make this team. <laughs> and he walked in and did it. And so... Yeah. Listen, the word is about Jacob Wookie at 35 years old. He's so familiar with how his body operates that he understood that he needed a month or so. If I can train for a month, I'll be able to get to this score. This score is going to get me to the top 16 yeah. and so on and so forth. And, and really, it's just that experience paying off for him. And you know what? Looking at Jacob Wookie to have the desire to keep coming out and doing it, and the family and, and all the day-to-day -day life. It's just an incredible story. What an athlete. And I don't know how true or unverified. I heard he has another little one on the way. Oh, boy. So. And by the way, Jacob Wookie was the one who sent Brady Ellison to the bronze medal match yeah. earlier today. That's your number one in the world. But Wookie, in this match, in what 
what's turning out to be very tricky wind starts off with an eight. Yeah. The way that Williams has been shooting, I don't think that's going to help his cause much. No. But Jacob worked Wednesday night or Wednesday and then came down here and shot Thursday, Friday for the Nationals and then today. So, I mean, it's it's a different world. He's a working man. Yeah. Yeah. Because he used all his vacation to go to the Olympics. So, <laughs> you know, you, you got to kind of watch where you spend it. Yeah, 100%. But Jack's doing, I mean, he's putting on a show out there. He certainly is. Oh, my, you got to be kidding me. What a shot. And sometimes when you get against them guys, you just shake your head because it's like, what can I do? What what, what can I do? Because not by any means is Jacob shooting bad. No. Because the wind is tough out there. I mean, I can mm -hmm. see flags that are standing straight out. I mean. And then it dies. Like yeah. right now, you can see the flag on top of the target. It's barely moving compared to where it was. Yeah. It's, it's almost just sitting there. How do you? It's experience, isn't it, Rio? Oh, 100%. 100%. And, and confidence. Again. Once you walk out there and get started, it's easy to get it rolling. But Jack has just thrown a 6-0 on. And what do you shoot? Two nines? Yeah. What? In the wind. I mean, that's super impressive. Not that Jacob didn't shoot good, but man. Yeah. Your recurve. Jack. Senior gold medal winner for the 2021 U.S. Open here, U.S. Archery. And that deserves a nice tight shot because yep. that 30 really put a stamp on it. What a way to open and what a way to close for the 21-year-old Jack Williams. Yep, for sure. Oh, that was so impressive. And the cool thing is photos are taken, and now we get the opportunity to put the headset on Jack and chit chat up with him about that incredible performance. Well, Jack, um, <laughs> that was unbelievable. What shooting, starting off with a 30, ending it with a 30. I mean, not only did you have everything dialed in, but you just got this win down. Congratulations on the gold medal. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what, was that a 29, 28 in the middle there? But I definitely... They have it listed as a 28. 28. So you missed two hands is all. That's oh, pretty how good. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really happy with how the wind was on this field compared to the other field and kind of went out here, you know, ready to win. And Is this something, being able to read the wind, is this something that you are accustomed to in practice or is it just something that you've learned over the years of competition? Uh, kind of both. You need to really practice it in practice but then get experience at different fields and how a quartering wind and different climates affects your arrows so kind of everything combined now i'm curious jack how was your experience in tokyo at the olympics and did any learning anything there or experiencing that help you out with anything here at this tournament pretty much every tournament i go to i try to learn a bunch of different things from it i took away some technique things and really wind and humidity the climate there was almost identical to here so it's good practice for the three weeks we were there. All right, well, he may sound a little reserved or look a little reserved, but I guarantee you he is jumping for joy inside. Congratulations <laughs> on your 2021 U.S. Open gold medal. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, congrats. The future of archery in a 21-year-old Jack Williams, and he showed his potential today. Real wild, that was nothing but breathtaking, only dropping <laughs> two points to go 6-0. <laughs> To drop two points in normal weather is good shooting. A little less yeah. to do it in that wind. That's pretty impressive. And hey, that's what happens when you get to go to the Olympics and experience so many things that are similar to Dory Park in Virginia. How about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have thought that would have been a comment that would be it's similar, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's it's a confidence builder. I mean, think about it. Jack's young guy, got to go to the Olympics, got to compete against some of the best in the world. It just keeps building your confidence and gets you more and more prepared to, to achieve stuff further down the road.